Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 100. And 57. Day, day 3157. 3 is to signify the fact that we are in the third edition. Third edition, day 157. We are working on the practice test number 2 that you will find at the very end of the book on page number 486. Today we'll do problem number 21. Problem number 21 deals with the concept of absolute value inequality. Absolute value inequality. In the event in the event that you find that you are not very good at it and you, some more, and you need some more practice dealing with the absolute value inequalities, then on my channel, in that case, on my channel you will find a series of videos labeled as basic math. Just type in, just type in basic math in the search box, in the search box just type in basic math day 106, that's where you find the 10 video, the first video rather, that's where you find the first video in a series of 10 videos. The first five are from day number 106 through 110 and then the next five are from, the next fives are from day number 121 through 125 and they of course progressively get a little bit more difficult by the time you get to, by the time you get to the very end, they get a little bit more challenging. Let's look at the one that we have. The one that we have is quite straightforward here. It says, this is number 21, it says, if if absolute value of t plus 3 is greater than 5, it's greater than 5, then which of the which of the following could be the value of t? And here is one of those situations where they give you several answer choices, sometimes four, five, six, sometimes I've seen as many as eight answer choices or ten answer choices and our job is to mark all of the, all of the answer choices that work out of however many that they give us, whether there are six or eight or ten, doesn't matter. Here we have all the way through F, A, B, C, D, E and F. There are six answer choices, negative nine, negative six, negative two, zero, positive two and positive three. Let's see what we can do here. So any answer choice that does the job here is the correct answer here. Let's do the, let's work on it. So we are told that the absolute value, absolute value of t is greater than 5. There are two ways we can go about it. One way is to actually plug in the numbers here and see if it works or not. For example, if we put in negative 3, if we put in negative 9 here, just, just follow me. If we put in negative 9 here, negative 9 and a positive 3 will give us negative 6. Negative 9 and positive 3 will give us positive 6. And the absolute value of positive 6 is 6, which, in, which, in, which indeed is more than 5. So we know negative 9 would work. On the other hand, if we put in negative 6, if we put in negative 6, negative 6 and a positive 3 will give us negative 3. And the absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3. And positive 3 is not more than 5. So we know B does not work. If we put in negative 2, negative 2 and a positive 3, negative 2 and a positive 3 will give us positive 1. An absolute value of positive 1 is just 1, which is not greater than 5. So we know C doesn't work. And so on and so forth. Just, just keep on going until you find all the ones that work. So that's one way of doing it. Another way is to actually do it algebraically and find all the solutions. Not just, not just be able to spot which one of these 6 work and which one of these 6 don't work, but to find all the solutions for this thing. Let's see how to do that. All of them. There are infinite solutions and we're going to find all of them. So let's get going. So absolute value we are told of three, t plus 3 is more than 5, which means there are two possibilities. There are two possibilities. Either, either t plus 5 is more than 5. If t plus 5 is more than 5, for example, if t plus 3, if t plus 3 is 7, then absolute value of 7 is 7, 7, and absolute value of 7 is 7, which is more than 5. So that's one possibility. This is the simple one. This is the easy one. Or, or there is another possibility. Maybe t plus 3 is less than negative 5. This is where people get confused. Let's understand this thing. One possibility, if we are told that absolute value of t plus 3 is more than 5, that is either t plus 3 is more than 5 or t plus 3 is less than negative 5. For example, for example, 
For example, it is possible that t plus 3 is say equal to negative 7. If that's the case, if t plus 7, as you can see, is less than negative 5. So if that's the case, if t plus 3, if t plus 3 is equal to negative 7, then by the time you take its absolute value, absolute value of negative 7 is positive 7, and positive 7, we are told, we are told the absolute value of this quantity, which we found to be positive 7, has to be more than 5, and we can see 7 is more than 5. So that works. That does work. Maybe 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 t plus 3, maybe t plus 3 is equal to negative negative 20. And the same thing. Absolute value of t plus 3 would be absolute value of negative 20, which is 20, and that indeed is more than 5. As you can see, it works. So there are two possibilities. Either this quantity is more than 5, or this quantity is less than negative 5. And we have to work on both of them. We have to solve both of them. So let's do it, shall we? So if it is more than 5, then if we subtract 3 from both sides, what we get is 3 is going to cancel out, and it tells us that t has to be more than 2. That's one possibility. t has to be more than 2. Immediately we can tell that f is not going to work because t has to be more than 2. Similarly, it doesn't have an equal sign. It doesn't say t is, t is more than or equal to. So it is not allowed to be equal to 2, which means it is not allowed to be equal to 2, which means e is not right. Let's carry on. And here, if you subtract negative 3 from both sides, or rather add th negative 3 both sides, this three will neg positive 3 and negative 3 will cancel out, and we'll find that t is less than negative 8. It has to be either less than negative 8, and as you can see, negative 6 is not less than negative 8, which is why it did not work. As you can see, negative 2 is not less than negative 8, that's why it did not work. And if we had tried 0, we would have found that 0 would not work. If you put in 0 here, 0 plus 3 is 3, absolute value of 3 is 3, and 3 is not more than 5. As you can see, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It has to be either less than negative 8 or more than 2. Anything that is less than negative 8, anything that's, the, less, that's less than negative 8, such as negative 9, worked. Anything that is more than 2 would work. Why did we cross out 3? T should not have been crossed out. T is more than, if we are told that T is more than 2, if T is more than 2, then that works. 3, of course, is more than 2. I don't know why I crossed it out. I can't remember what I was thinking. But as you can see, either T has to be more than 2, which means this would work. If you put it in, it would work. Let's try it very quickly. If, if X is equal, to, if T is equal to 3, if T is equal to 3, 3 plus 3 is 6. Absolute value of 6 is 6, and 6, of course, is more than 5. You see, it works. So, 3 works and negative 9 works. Negative 9, negative 9 and a positive 3 will give us negative 6 and absolute value of negative 6 is 6 which is more than 5. That's the, those are the two that work. Now sometimes, sometimes they give you something like this. They tell you if, if this quantity is greater than 5, then which of the following, which of the following, let me re erase this thing, which of the following shows the solution and they will give you they will give you five answer choices in the form of number line and our job is to locate that right come in right uh, right uh, manifestation of the number line and if you want to show the same solution in number line this is how it would look we're done with the problem the problem is done we, we wanted to find the answers we found the answer the answers are a and f answers are a and F, as we just found here, F and A. This is what we are doing here, it's just extra. So, here, let's put a zero here, zero is right here. Let's put a two here, positive two. And, and we are told that T has to be more than two. It cannot be, we don't have an equal sign here, which means wherever the two is, we put an open circle, and the line goes like this. Go forever, anything more than two would work. Or, T is like a, less than negative eight. So, here we go. 2, 4, 6, and 8. This is negative 8. And again, because it's not equal to, it cannot be closed circle, it has to be open circle. And anything less than that would also work. And this is how, <coughs> this is how we will show, this is how we will show the solution to this problem on a number line. Anything less than, neg this, is, this is open circle because it's not equal to, anything less than negative 8, or anything more than positive 2. Anything more than positive 2. That's it. And there are infinite solutions. We just identified all of them. So they could have given us more answer choices. They could have given us a few more if they wanted to. Do you understand? 
for, uh, for example, they could have put here, they could have put here 10 here, and they could have put uh, another answer choice here, say negative, negative 13, and that would work. Negative 13 would work, negative 9 would work, 3 would work, 10 would work. Anything, anything more than 2 or anything less than negative 8? Do you understand? That was the end of it. It's a pretty straightforward question in the sense that majority of people who had uh, majority of the people who took the exam had no trouble with it. As a matter of fact, seven tenth of the people, seven tenth almost, seventy percent, sixty nine percent of people got this question right. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow we'll do problem number twenty three, which will be day number one fifteen today, one fifty eight rather. Tomorrow we'll do problem number twenty three. So this was problem number 21. This was problem number 21. So we'll do tomorrow 22. This is 21. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.